In this video, I'll get the animation going for the cell walls, animating the blend shape and the diploid cells turning off and on. To begin, I'll select the diploid cells and hide them. Selecting, holding Shift to add to the selection, and pressing Control H, or choosing Display, Hide, Hide Selection. I'll select that cell that transitions, and go to the Mitosis tab in the Attribute Editor. I'll slide this Blend Mitosis slider down to zero, so I start out with the original cell. Now what I'll do is give myself some more frames and set keys to animate this property over time. Down in the bottom is my timeline, and this is where I'll see my animation. Right now what it says is, we start at frame 1, and our view starts at frame 1. We see 24 frames of 48 we have. What I'm going to do is slow this down. I'll take this and animate it to 72 frames. Putting in 72 and pressing tab changes both of those. Now I've got 3 seconds at 24 frames per second. Maya's default frame rate is 24, although we can change it if we'd like by going into the preferences here, clicking on the settings preferences, and here on the time slider is our playback speed, and if we go to settings, we can change our time. I'm going to leave it at 24 for the moment. To start then, I'll go to frame 1, and I'm on the channel box here, which I can get to by pressing Control A to toggle back and forth between the channel box and the attribute editor. I'll click on the mitosis input, and there's that blend mitosis percent at 0. We have a lot of options of how we do things here, and this will work very nicely. I'll right click on the words blend mitosis and choose key selected. Now there's a keyframe at frame 1, shown by that small red line here. I'll scrub over to frame 72 and select both of those pieces. When I select the number and the name, I can click and drag in the viewport with the mouse wheel and animate that up. Now it's at 1, and I'll right click on blend mitosis and key it. I'll go back to the beginning and play my animation. There's the mitosis, and when this fades out, we'll see the other two cells fade in. Make sure when you're playing this that you go into the preferences for the time slider and you set your playback speed to real time. That way it's showing correctly instead of zipping through all the frames. When I play my animation, it looks good, but it's a little bit slow. We may want to speed this up a little bit and then make the fade happen. I'll take this key that's at 72 or hold shift and click and drag on the timeline here to select that whole range. I'll take that range and scale it down by clicking and dragging on the end. I'll pull this back to maybe 48 so it takes two seconds instead. Now it occurs over two and after two seconds from 48 to 72 I can put in that transparency. I'll select the object Press Control A to go into the attributes, and click on the right to get to the cell wall material. What I'll do then is at frame 48 right click on transparency and set a key. Then I'll scrub forward to 72 and take transparency all the way up so the material fades off. Right click and set another key. Let's see how this animation looks. Mitosis occurs and it fades out ready for the others to fade in. I'll leave it here at frame 49. That's where that fade starts. And choose Display, Show, Show Last Hidden. I'll select one of my diploid cells. Slide the transparency all the way up to white so it's totally transparent. Right click on Transparency and choose Set Key. Then I'll scrub over here to frame 72 and bring that transparency down so it fades in right-clicking and setting a key again. Let's see how this animation looked. Mitosis occurs, the cells fade out, and there's the division. It's a nice way to handle this without actually seeing it completely divide, but getting the idea across that it stretches and becomes two. We can customize the time if we'd like, playing with the length of the animation, but it looks pretty good for the moment. In our next video, then, we'll get the DNA animating and showing how it replicates and then splits.